Hello everyone, Dan Hurt with Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome to my channel. We are back at it with the Icon. We have dewinterized it now that spring is in the air and we've got it all set up to run more material. And I have a whole bunch of that right there to run through today. And see how much gold it has in it. Hope you enjoy. Now this rock here, we have about 500 pounds of it to go through today. It was brought to me by a buddy of mine who got it from somewhere that he won't tell me where. A secret spot. Now either he's not telling me because he maybe was not getting this from a legitimate spot or he's not telling me because he doesn't want me to know where it came from, which tells me there might be something good in it. I have no idea. Let's crush it down and see. So it's time to fire things up here. We'll probably turn the audio off of this video and just put music over top of it or something because the generator is so loud. But here we go. all the pyrites up top here. Hope there's some gold in that stuff.
Yeah. Water all over my lens. Quiet. Peace and quiet. What are we still here? Generator down there. There you go. Oh. I hear oh, that. water pressure sucking back. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a leak now that we didn't have before. Right. Like there's no foot. So if you haven't seen my earlier videos, I have lots of videos from last fall where I was uh, using this uh, setup. We have the jaw crusher at the top, the impact mill down here. The jaw crusher takes down to about three quarters of an inch. Impact mill takes it to powder. and eh, it's a little coarser than I'd like, but pretty much powder. And then the Icon is a uh, gravity concentrator or a centrifugal concentrator. It's the Icon 1, uh, it's the Icon I-150 and it's big centrifuge basically spinning the material around separating the heavies from the lights and the heavies stay in the bin in the riffles in the bin in there the lights get washed away down the tube into the tailings and then when you're all done and we shut her down and rinse her out all the good stuff falls out in the bucket below I have earlier videos that explain that much better and take their time, more detail, but that's the gist of it. So Dad's here checking our the material from the little safety sluice. We have a little sluice on the uh, output, and we like to check it each time to make sure that you know something didn't go wrong. We we're just pumping away all of our good stuff. Uh, we are keeping all the tailings separate each time. I see he's panning in nice clean water here. A lot of metallics in here. Oh yeah, you could tell as you were going, some of those iron rocks were yeah. just straight magnetite or yeah. pyrotite or something. Yeah, it's washing over the bridge. Oh, I see one now. That's, that, the, one that's right. the one I saw. That's the one right there, yeah. One little speck. Maybe a second one there, so I go by. Oh, and there's another one. And another one. We got four specks of gold here. Mm -hmm. But but that means there's gold. Yeah. Could be. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got five pieces of gold. They're small. Um, now, if there's only five in there, that means we've got 50% recovery rate. That would suck. Let's hope because we got five here, we got 500, 5,000 in the good stuff. really doubt the camera's going to get those. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that, six. As I said, I really doubt the camera's picking that up. Now, I'm going to get my other pan and see what's in the good stuff. Okay, this could be a little while of panning. That's a lot of metallics in there. That's all iron right now. A little bit of quartz left in there, but basically that's just iron. Muddy water. Yep. This is really heavy iron in here. Just like, even the sort of, well, there's bigger chunks, like the, mm -hmm. the bigger pieces, just all chunky, heavy. Obviously lots of pyrite, as well as the black. Because there's glitters all over the place yeah. that are not gold. Well, you can see those weathered out seams with chunks sitting at the back of it in the rock itself. Well, that's probably far enough down. Let's go see what this produces. Uh, where, where's that sun? Uh, is there any sun? Yeah, I'm gonna my sun. Overcast side is terrible for these kind of images. There's a piece of gold. See him right there? There's one more right above it too. Yep. Okay. Not 
starting to see some coming through. See all the gold up there. Oh, I see a bunch back here too. I see a lot of gold in this. There's a lot in here. This chunky stuff doesn't like to separate up at the front though, does it? Oh, I might have to sift this out. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, you're going to have a hard time separating that. Yeah. Let's see if I can tap some of that up. Oh, she taps up nicely. Oh yeah, climbing the wall. <laughs> Let's see the camera here. I'll see if we can. That's hard rock crush for you. Lots of it. Doesn't quite look like placer, does it? It's all through everywhere. Chunky enough to be fool's gold, but it's not. Just definitely not fool's gold. No. You can see the odd piece of pie right in here, but even a big chunk right there. So this is probably why my friend didn't want to show me where this came from. He's afraid I'm gonna go steal his gold. Maybe I should tell him there's nothing in this. Sorry, mate, there's no gold in your rocks. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Well, I'm going to have to clean this out and take it home to weigh it up, because that's going to be... I'm going to leave it in that and clean it up at home. I have to sift out all those bigger rocks. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, slow, tedious cleaning that up to weigh it out. That tapped up really well, though. It, it did. It better, did. Better than placer, isn't it? Probably because it's chunkier. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Just climb the wall, oh, even. Yeah. Yeah. Just climbs right out. Ninety percent of your work right there. Well, there we go. There were a few pieces that made it through, but the majority is definitely in here. The icon did its job very well. Again, if you really want to know how that machine works, go check out my older videos. I'll leave a link here for you guys so you can see how the machine actually works. Two crushers and the concentrator. And my god, does it do good gold recovery. There's good English. Does it do good? It done good. Yes, it done good. It's like your grammar. My grammar is good. Your aunt would be all over you. I don't know if that's in. I don't know if that's in the, in the image or not. But there is some pretty nice hard rock gold. I should give a good shout out to Dave from 911 Metallurgist for helping me uh, set up this whole hard rock gold recovery system. It works very well. Thank you, thank you, Dave. I'll leave a link in the description here to 911 Metallurgist. If you ever contact Dave for anything, make sure you say you saw it on Dan's channel. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. Please, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon. And I got more coming with the icon pretty soon. I've got two other really good samples, and these ones are mine. Well, no, one of them's mine. Another one's a, a different friend. But until then, bye. Bye.